Hey everybody, what's up? It's your good pal, pet's name, here. Today we're talking about our feline overlords, cats. How to build them an awesome cat tree. I know what you're thinking. Building a cat tree? But trust me, it's easier than it looks. We'll walk you through it step by step. Your cat might just explode with excitement. So grab your tool belt and let's get building. Before we touch a saw or hammer, we need a plan. Just like any good project, we need a blueprint. Consider your cat's personality. Are they a lounger or an acrobat? Design a tree that caters to their needs. Measure your space. Sketch out your dream cat tree. Think about platforms, scratching posts, and toys. All right, now that we've got our blueprint ready, it's time to gather our materials. For the base and platforms, you can use plywood or particle board. For the scratching posts, sisal rope is a cat's best friend. It's durable, feels good on their claws, and saves your furniture. For the supports, you can use PVC pipes or even cardboard tubes. They're strong, lightweight, and cats absolutely love them. Now for the tools, you'll need a saw, a drill, screws, bolts, and a staple gun for attaching carpet or fabric. Safety first, folks. Always wear your safety glasses when operating power tools. Okay, let's get down to business. Start by cutting your plywood or particle board to the size and shape you want for your base. Once you've got your base cut out, it's time to attach the platforms. Cut the platforms to your desired size and shape, and then use screws or brackets to attach them securely to the base. Use wood glue in addition to screws for extra strength. This will help prevent the platforms from wobbling or coming loose. Remember, we're building this cat tree to last. Time to give those feline claws something to dig into. Take your PVC pipes or cardboard tubes and cut them to your desired height for the scratching posts. Wrap them with sisal rope, securing it with staples or glue as you go. Make sure there are no gaps or loose ends. Once your scratching posts are ready, attach them to the base and platforms using screws or brackets. Make sure they're securely fastened, because cats can put a lot of force into their scratching. Now it's time to make it look pretty. Use plush fabric, carpet remnants, or even old blankets or towels. Use a staple gun to attach the fabric or carpet to the base, platforms, and scratching posts. Make sure the staples are secure and there are no loose edges. This is a cat tree, not a scratching post for your clothes. And there you have it. You've officially covered your cat tree and given it a polished look. Step back and admire your handiwork. You're well on your way to creating the ultimate cat paradise. Now, let's talk about climbing. Cats are natural climbers, so we need to give them some challenging and fun ways to get to the top of their new domain. You can add ramps, ladders, or even a set of stairs between the platforms. Use your imagination and get creative. For ramps and ladders, you can use plywood or particle board and then cover them with carpet or fabric for traction. Make sure the angle of the ramp isn't too steep, especially if you have an older cat or a kitten who's still learning to climb. Now it's time to add some finishing touches to make your cat tree truly epic. Think about what your cat loves and incorporate those elements into the design. Does your cat love to bat at dangling toys? Hang some from the platforms using strings or hooks? Is your cat a hammock enthusiast? Create a cozy hammock using fabric and attach it to the underside of a platform? You can even create hiding spots using fabric scraps or cardboard boxes. Cats love having their own little nooks and crannies to explore. The possibilities are endless. Remember, a stimulating environment is key to keeping your cat happy and entertained. All right, we're in the home stretch. We've got this amazing cat tree built, but before we unleash our feline overlords on it, we need to make sure it's safe and secure. Check all the screws and bolts to make sure they're tight. Depending on the size, you may want to anchor it to the wall or floor. This will help prevent it from tipping over if your cat decides to channel their inner acrobat. Finally, give it a good once over for any sharp edges or loose parts. Congratulations, you've built a cat paradise. And there you have it, folks. You've officially built an awesome custom cat tree that your feline friend will absolutely adore. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Now stand back, watch your cat conquer their new domain, and get ready for some serious purrs of approval. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome DIY projects, pet-themed fun, and maybe even a glitter bomb or two. 
Until next time, keep those tails wagging and those claws sharp.